Howdy folks, this is a showcase for a new capital vessel that I built that is now on the workshop and this is similar to the one that I'm doing in my Let's Play series that I'm using but it's a little bit smaller and a little bit cheaper and it also has landing pads down here and so this is a basic exploration vehicle for the first time when you leave your planet basically you want to go to other planets and mine stuff and that kind of thing and do exploring and you need a cheap ship that can land on the planet and also a way that you can get back into your ship and so this has a big ramp on the back so that when you land on rough terrain you're not forced to try to jump up into an elevator especially on high gravity planets like this sometimes you can't actually reach the elevator from the ground and it can be problematic and so that's the design behind this is that and so as you see here you can fit two vehicles on here on the landing pads and you can put a repair bay in one of these easily enough and then up top we have some defenses here which you can obviously add to and so you can put more turrets on either on the sides or wherever you'd like and in here once we come in the door we can do this and so this is the main cabin this is this is alpha 6 compatible so as you see it is oxygenated and all that stuff and the only thing this doesn't have is a gravity generator but it doesn't have all the other comforts and so up here on the upstairs you can grow plots you have the armor and the repair bay you have all of the scanners for whatever diseases or parasites or those things you might pick up and the medical and oxygen and there is a constructor here which can easily be upgraded to an advanced constructor I did use the cheapest parts on this so that it only requires level 10 to build instead of making it higher level and so there's cargo here and more cargo here and then you have your food processor and a fridge so you can put stuff in your fridge and you have the repair station again and then there's your ammo box and you also have your stamina recovery right there and the cockpit now has the same system that I use in my other ships this blue light shows whether the engines are on or not the thrusters and so when you approach from this side as you see the arrows when you approach from this side it turns on and when you get in your engines are on as you see here so they turn on and then we can level off here and then when you get back out of the cockpit it will turn them off as you see there and you also have a hover button so when you press this the green light will come on that means it's hover mode and it ignores these switches and just keeps the engines on all the time so that's how that works and you can that way you can use the ship you can hover it you can land it you can do whatever and you can see as as you can tell here when you're in the cockpit you can tell whether you're in, you're in hover mode so that if you're not in hover mode and you get out of the cockpit your ship isn't just gonna fall to the ground on you or that kind of thing so yeah you can turn the engines off like that and there's currently a bug that makes it float when you do that but that's okay so anyway this is the interior compartment here you can see here that there is all the basic parts that's under the ramp here and so underneath the main compartment and everything this is where all the guts and everything all the heat producing components so you are able to walk around inside inside the entire ship without hitting any of the heat or radiation zones so it's all safe inside here it's all alpha 6 compatible and that is about all for this ship like I said it's very simple and you can bring your favorite vehicles you can bring an HV or SV because they can easily the nice thing is if you bring a, an HV to drill with you can pull it up this ramp onto here if you don't have boosters enough to get up onto the thing so that is the the mini mall CV and one other feature is it has a lot of lights on it so that if you land on a planet and it's dark where you wanted to mine you can still see you can still see a lot and so that's very helpful too so this is on the workshop I will put a link in the description if you want to download it and it's a fun little ship <laughs> and enjoy